this time so it's still that dream maybe because you're thinking so much about school if i don't think about it what else can i do why don't you wait until after your first day in school <laughs> better still be like other teenagers eh and be excited about going back to school easier said than done mom okay so maybe you should help me with cleaning the house. It should take your mind off school. Mm. Can't we do it later? What? Get off from this bed and help me clean the house. This house is not going to clean itself. And you are not going to leave the boxes for me to unpack alone, are you? Mm. Oh, my handsome boy has woken up. Oh, come now, come and take <laughs> You'll be time with your grandmother. Oh, yeah, come and take your ball. Take it, take it. Yeah. 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 All right, young lady. Yeah. Bobo, yeah. let's go get you yeah. something to eat, okay? Yeah. Young lady, yeah. get off that bed. I am serious. Yeah. Today is Sunday. Help clean the house and unpack, especially those. I mean, I'm not going to unpack that for you, am I? <laughs> Wait until it is school day before you kill yourself over with it. Baba, let's go eat. Baba. Lately, I've been lost in my thoughts. And it's all about you. It may cost me a lot. But I'm ready to lose. A certain way, if I should choose, I'll go your way. Pay me and you can run away. Then casting the river I vest my heart and do what in your wish yeah. You be my Moses, you divide my sea yeah. Ain't no one like you Got empty vacuums in many places that you filled up And now they feel you A billion people but only you, they my catalog Acting like this is a big deal. It's just a picture. A picture that you had to spend 200,000 naira shopping for. Hmm. Where's your brother? He's here. Oh, put that to Smile small. Hello, mother. You look ravishing. Have you seen that? Sorry, has that seen you? You're naughty. <laughs> Don't tell him I told you. I said that you're getting naughty. 
And of course, you're getting cleverly good with your compliments these days, and thank you. Why do you think he changes girlfriends like Stanley parts every time? Don't blame the Justin men for looking the way they do. They are simply irresistible. That's my guy. <laughs> hey! Ta-da! So bad. I'm not a baby anymore. Hey, you will always be my baby. <laughs> Maybe you should take some clue from me to get you some popularity, you know. Nope, not at all. Absolutely not. That settles it. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't work on your social status, Joy. Because currently, you're as popular as the tiniest insect. <laughs> Even the tiniest insects are recognized by their names. But Joy here, she has no name whatsoever in school. Stop teasing your sister. <laughs> She's actually working on getting better this term. Right, Joy? Hey, baby. Don't be in a hurry. Don't worry, okay? You have three years ahead of you, okay? No need to be in a hurry. All right? But I mean, this is one now. So it means two years. Right. Two years. Two more years. Don't be in a hurry. Okay? Mm. Yeah. Where is this photographer? I don't want to waste this pose. <laughs> okay, so. Well, what can't we be like normal families that go to church on Sunday? Why have a photo shoot today of all these? Leave me alone. You're hurting me. Oh, my princess, what is anything like that? Yeah, Maya was so excited that, okay, I will leave a picture of me with you. So when I travel, you don't have to miss me so much. That's what you said. I'm sorry, Dad. All right, fine. I'll willingly spend this Sunday doing absolutely nothing but taking pictures with you. Oh, that's my girl. Yeah. So where is he? Am I good? Look with that. Thank you. Mm. That's my girl. Mm. Please, I need you guys to arrange yourself. It's okay. 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 Am I okay with my glasses? Yes, it's fine. Okay. Okay, Now tell me, how would you manage an extremely low, slow learning child? Thank you very much, ma'am. As a teacher, I understand that children have different learning abilities. So, this in itself is tied to their personality. So I would get close enough to that child to understand his or her personality. And then the knowledge of that will guide me on which teaching method suits the child, and then I will apply it. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think she has some idea of the job. Hmm. Okay. You are addressed here as Miss. Yes, ma'am. Why is that if you are a mother? Are you divorced? No, ma'am. Then, why are you addressed as Miss instead of Mrs.? I, uh, I am a single mother. to hear about us because I, I, I mean if you had done your research well you would have known that we are a very religious school and we do not employ staff with little low or no moral standing well 
that will be all for now. <laughs> You'll get to hear from us very soon. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Please excuse me. Single mother. Oh, no. That's a no. Is everything okay? Yeah. Everything is fine. Okay. <clears throat> Mom, I was thinking, you don't have to do all of this on your own. Why? Why don't you just ask Dad for help? Why? Are you saying that I cannot take care of you? Hmm? Have you lacked anything or is there anything you've ever asked that I did not give you? No, Mom. I'm just saying that... Then we will not ask him for help. And let this be the last time we will ever talk about it again. Ah, uh, that's my bobo. You're doing good. I like that. It's for grass. Hmm? Nancy, hurry up. So we won't be late to eat it for me. Bobo, eat. No, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this one. 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 Hey. Mm. Mm. Why do you look like you're more scared of the uniform than the thought of returning to school? No. I don't think this is a good idea. It's been three years since I dropped out. Yeah. I'm afraid it will all go wrong. Why would it go wrong? Nancy. Nancy, look at me. This is a new school. A new town. And a fresh start. Maybe I'm just worrying for nothing. But what about the age difference? Everyone in SS1 will probably be 14 or at most 15. And I'm 17. I'll just be the mother of the class. Mm -hmm. Remind me, why are you going back to school? To be a nurse. Is it important to you? Yes, it is, Mom. You know that. Good. I have done everything within my strength to bring you here and give you the fresh start that you need. It is now up to you. Bobo. Bobo. It is now up to you to look past your, your, your previous ugliness and see yourself. Do you think you can do that? Nancy, do you think you can do that? Emma. Because if you don't believe you can, then all of this has been a waste of time. Mom, what if it comes up again? That was three years ago. You need to move past it, Nancy. Does anyone know you in this town? No one. Uh -huh. mm. Yes, Bobo. Mom, mm. well, I guess you're right. I'm just being worried for that. Good. Then eat up so we go to school, so we don't go late.
Mark. Yes, ma'am. Tell me about Evelyn. She's... She's a student in school, mom. Mark, tell me. Why can't you make friends with your gender? Why are you always making friends with the girls? What is wrong with making friends with the girls, mom? Oh. You mean the fact that they are girls and that they have some body parts that you should have no business being friendly with? I'm not making friends with the girls' body parts. Oh, you think this is a joke, right? You think I am joking? Mark, will it kill you to be just a little like your sister here? Who is invested in taking after the family values? Mommy, what do you want from me? What, what do you want from me? You already have rich pulling the family. What more do you want from me? Shut up! You will not disrespect me. And more so, you must take after the family values, even if that's the last thing I do on earth. We're going to school, Mom. What did you find out? You were right to suspect. The new girl is pregnant. Whoever you are, if I get you there, you'll be shocked at what I'll do to you. Thank you. How is it these girls never learn? Every time. What? Bricks here, they never learn. Do you remember me? My name is Joy. No, I don't. Um, when I was in Jess too, we helped me and Rachel with our math in the library. Oh, um. Nancy. Nancy, look at me. This is a new school. It is a new school. Say it. It's a new school. Again. It's a new school. It's a new school. God. I'm in a first one now. I dropped out for a year. I'm sorry about that. Mm, you must have heard. I was sick in just three. 
It was so bad that I had to drop out for a year, so I repeated JS3. Oh, sorry. No, I didn't hear that. Everything will be fine, okay? Relax, I got you. I'm always with you. Good. You can do it. You can do it. Now, give me charges back. See you later. Anyway, do you still go to the library? Yes, um, look, I have to go to class and clean up and all, all right? See you. Mambo, hey! Hey, watch it! You pushed me! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I was trying to run after my mother. I'm a new student. I'm trying to know where my class is. What class are you? I'm in SS1. I'm in SS1 too. My name is Joy Justin. Nancy Elliot. Nice to meet you. Anyway, let me lead you to our class, Nancy. Uh, Why are you running? I heard the new student is pregnant. Hi, good morning, Miss uh, Hannah, right? Yeah. I am Mr. Aqua. Nice to meet you. Good to see you too, ma'am. I'm the new literature teacher. I know. Oh, may I? He doesn't usually follow people. Uh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Those find me are very good with That's the first. No, I'm very good with boys. <laughs> How are you, okay. big guy? How are you? Whatever it is you did, you will need to show it to me. No, my forefathers will be angry if I say, hey, don't disgrace me now, I'm big guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's a secret passed down generations of men in my family. Oh. <laughs> Anna. A word in my office. Thank you. Thank it's you so much. Okay. Feels like I am on a cliff. I miss it, bitch. Falling down into the deep so submersive Something is hitting me up I don't feel the same as I was I'm stuck in a danger zone Been living outside my world It feels strange And I've been looking for a way I've been looking for escape Yeah, I've been looking for a way So reach the surface I've been looking for a way I've been looking for escape, man, I've been looking for a way. We have a new student. Everyone, I want you all to meet Nancy. She's our new classmate. And Nancy, meet everyone. Hi. Hi. 
Mm. <laughs> what is it? Are you the pregnant student? <laughs> what do you mean? It's on the school's platform that the new student is pregnant. Yeah. What? Are you pregnant? Oh my god. Hey, are you lost? No, I'm waiting for my mother. Your mother? She's a mommy girl. What class are you? SS1. SS what? Are you not too so old to be in SS1? Did you repeat class? Of course she repeated. Why else is someone who looks like my other sister doing SS1? I'm sorry, I'm just waiting for my mother. Look at this girl, Lou. Do you know where your seniors and by next term we'll be giving posts as prefects. We'll make this school unbearable for you. Of course, my baby. Don't worry. I will, I will put that straight. Mommy's girl, I want you to go to the cafeteria right now and get each of us a bottle of water. No, I can't. I'm waiting for my mom. In case you don't understand, it was a command. Unless you think your mom is the saving grace in this school. All right, give me the money. <gasps> money? <laughs> what money? Oh, do you not know? Oh, she just don't know. Junior students, you are going to get us a bottle of water. But I don't have any cash on me. Wow, she calls it cash. So grown. You are going to use your money and get us the water, or you find it. And both of you are going to go to your classes right now. Else, I'll make sure none of you smell the perfect position. Sorry, senior. We're just welcoming her to school, right? Yes. Now you're done with the welcome. Get your classes. See you around, Yavi. Thank you, senior. Please will be stand here. If you show them you're afraid, they'll pounce on you. Who is that like you're not afraid, even if you are? Well, how would I know if I'm not bullied for my for being stubborn? You don't. In fact, they'll bully you from now to December. Because of your strength. Ha! <laughs> but that's the good thing. They bully you because they are scared of you, not because you're weak. So you're advising me to be stubborn so that I can get bullied for being for my strength? That's exactly what I'm telling you. <laughs> Do you know me? No, I don't. You don't? No. This is my first day. And you're in SS1? Yes. Hmm. Then I'm James. Nice to meet you, Senior James. I have to go check my books first. Oui. I don't know how you convinced the council. In fact, I am suspicious of how you convince them. <laughs> but I am not going to dwell on that. Mm -mm. 
we do not employ single mothers as staff of the school. But since you're already here, I have a set of rules. On no account should your status or the lack of it affect or compromise any student of the school. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Secondly, I have so built up the image of the school such that it is highly revered the world over. So, if you so much as bring any scandal here, you will be kicked out. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. And lastly, your son, you cannot bring him to school. We do not want you or the students distracted. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I actually intend to register him at a crutch. Good. That will be all. Thank you, ma'am. One minute. You said you're a single mother, and your daughter is 17. Does she also share the same father as this boy? No, ma. Oh! So you have two children for two different men? God. Well, anyways, you have heard what I said. No scandals. And for your sake, no more pregnancies. And definitely no more out of the wedlock products. Do you understand? Anyway, though I, I doubt that you can find a man with two children from different men. God, you believe. Thank you, ma. Mm. Talk, baby. Let's go. Abigail, you call for my presence. Yes. Mrs. Cynthia Patrick, you're welcome. Thank you. Well, there is a situation here we would want to bring to your notice. And what could that be? Are you aware that your daughter, Evelyn, is pregnant? Jesus. Are you serious? But we thought that better than this. And this is what I get in return? Well, it really shows how much you have taught her regarding her appearance today in school and how much you, are, you pay attention to her as a mother. You don't teach me parenting, Principal Abigail. Well, we do not condone that in this school. So I bring to your notice that your daughter, Evelyn, will be expelled today. Good morning, students. I'd like to welcome you to the first day of the new academic session. 
I believe you enjoyed your holidays. You did? Well, I'm glad. But I'm saddened by the news making the rounds. The news that came to us a few days back. I don't, I don't know, I don't understand. How many times do we have to repeat that this school frowns at sexual relationship between its students? And we frown at anyone who indulges in this. Anybody who indulges in sexual immorality would be what? Will be? Exactly. As being a school that morally trains her students, you must stay upright. That's what we do here. Anybody who defaults, who goes against the school rules, will be punished severely. Now, where is Evelyn Patrick? Evelyn Patrick. Oh, I right, come over here. This way. The information reaching us is that Evelyn Patrick is pregnant. Oh. Quiet. We investigated. And Evelyn also confirmed that she is pregnant. And the school rules are against anybody who indulges in sexual activities. We do not encourage teen parenting or teenagers who indulge in sexual activities. No. So, Evelyn Patrick stands expelled. It's a shame that she just joined us only last time. Yet she, she couldn't keep it together. So Evelyn, you will leave this place. Go to your class, pack your school bags, and leave the school campus immediately. Right now. Move. us, deterrent, all of you. We do not tolerate sexual immorality. Any student who defaults will be sent packing. And to ensure that you don't indulge in that, we will undertake the testing of all the girls every month. Yes! Yes, we will. <laughs> Having said that, I want you all to sit up, stay focused. Be focused on the reason you are here. I must tell you, we will not bend the rules of the school for you, no matter who you are, no matter who your parents are. Brother, we will bend you to the rules. You must stick to the rules of this school. You can't embarrass us. We are doing a whole lot to put you out there in the limelight. As well, discipline, well, also. Not fast, princess. You again. Yeah. Me again. I'm going to finish the conversation we started. I thought we were done talking. Very cute. What about the power you're supposed to introduce yourself to? Oh, yes. Introduction. Mm -hmm. You know, it's amazing how it's barely been an hour since the introduction, but the unsolicited information I've gotten about you makes it seem like I know you already. Don't believe everything you hear about me. You know how rumors can be highly exaggerated, right? Trust me. 
I'm more worried about what I've not heard. My name is Nancy. Beautiful name for your beautiful face. And if you want me to be your girlfriend this time, I'll make it easy for you. I'm not interested. So you can go push another person. Having said that, I want to thank you for saving me from those girls earlier. I won't forget it, I promise. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Ah. You have a new term, sweetheart. I think so. I have a feeling this term will be the best. Busy guy. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh. I know I have to be in. That's going to say you're crazy. Wait. I owe you an explanation. You don't have to explain if you don't want to. I experience anxiety attacks sometimes. Most times, it's triggered when I'm really accused. Oh. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. It's fine. Now that I know that. I promise to fight anyone who dares accuses you of anything. <laughs> Thank you. Evelyn, Evelyn, wait. Evelyn, we need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. Are you, are you kidding me? Just a minute, please. Evelyn, who is responsible? I already told the principal, okay? It's a guy I met during the holidays. Evelyn, I don't believe you. Am I the one responsible? You You're not responsible, Mark. Now, you know what, just go, okay? Don't concern yourself in a business that is not yours. Go away. Evelyn. Leave me alone. disappointed in you. I didn't expect this from you. But I know you can still pick up the pieces of your life. This is not the end of the road for your life. I pray and wish your daddy understands this. Thank you for finding out about Evelyn. You made it so easy to get the truth from her. And tell yourself his money will be paid in two days. Thank you, ma'am. I will relay the information. Right. I have another job. Yes. I have a feeling. There's something that new teacher is hiding. Um, you mean Miss Hannah? Yes. 
You know, I try to ignore the feeling, but it's just there. But I think if we dig into her, we'll get to find something I don't like. So, must we dig? Yes. I don't like that woman, and I want her out. But the council will never agree to it if I don't give them a strong reason why she can't be here. So, go, find me that reason. Okay, ma'am. I will do just that. Thank you. Thank you too, ma'am. All right, Mr. Ma. I'll do that. Good. Josh is sleeping now. Um, today I was so nervous in school today. At first it was horrible because my classmates were calling me the pregnant new girl. I was so freaked out. But after assembly, I was able to relax. I even made a new friend. I don't think this one was actually bad after all. I have a feeling that this school will actually be good. Mom. Mom, is everything okay? <clears throat> I've been talking to you since and you seem deep in thoughts. What is bothering you? Everything is fine. You expecting anyone? No. You know the rest of those things. I'll get it done. Mom, what is it? Someone that has no business being here. to be a part of our son's life. What? You know 